Hi, how are you? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in the Season of Discovery. Last episode, we completed the dungeon Zulfarak, and today we are in Nome Ergon. Looking forward to this raid. We'll see how we do. We have a few level 50s and some level 40s. A couple people a little in between 40 and 50 like me. So we'll see how this goes. I think we'll be all right. I wonder if it'll be as easy as Black Fathom Deeps was when, you know, the new phase came out and we started to level it. But I've never done any of these bosses before, so this is going to be uh, an interesting experience for me. There's the first boss here. Let's see how this goes. I was told to put might on everybody, so that's what I'm going to do. Pets need it. There you go. And I was also told to use Sanctity Aura. I think the other paladin is using, uh, is using putting wisdom on everybody. And I do have my buffs. I guess I should use them. Right? We're in a raid. It's a good time to use buffs. And these both last two hours. Fervor of the Temple Explorer and Spark of Inspiration. Not sure if we have any other buffs. We do have some health pots we could use. Keep that up here. So here we go. First boss, guys. This should be good. I'm looking forward to this. See how this goes. Now, I know this boss is like a big trod boss, supposedly. I did look at the bosses quick. I didn't get too much information. But I know a little bit of the mechanics, so I'm not going in completely blind. It would have been cool doing that. But, um... I don't want to grief these guys <laughs> right, too much. All right, you don't want to wipe the raid and make a big mistake like that. We'll see what happens. That could still happen. But I'm happy to be in here, man. I hope we get some awesome loot today. Got to watch out for this entrance here. It does cave in. It can take a lot of damage. Yeah, we're pumping there. Good old Crusader Strike, Judgment, Exorcist combo. Yeah, if we start, we can actually do this and we have no trouble in here. Or we don't get kicked out of the raid. <laughs> then, uh, we'll probably do this as much as we can. Because there's a lot of good loot in here. I wish I had Consecration for this. Oh, wow, that's big damage. Then we got to stay out of that green stuff. Let's keep buffing people up. We have full mana. All right, so there he is, Grubbus and Chopper. I guess it's like we're just going on Grubbus. Not too sure if that's how you do it. There's just stuff on the ground and just standing in it. <laughs> now this is getting racked up. This is feeling kind of like a tank in Spain. Got to stay out of this green stuff, I guess. Make sure you do that. There we go. Boss down. Let's see what drop. Okay, the Trog Transfigurator 
3,000 transfigures the caster into a trog. Kind of cool. Turn into a trog. You're a caster. We'll greet that. Um, leather belt. 10 strength, 10 agility, 6 stam. It's much better than ours. The skull duggery waistband. I'm going to need it. The necro gnome, the con. Held an offhand. It's for casters. Two intellect, two spirit, three shadow resist. Increases damage and healing done by magical spells by up to 14. And then we have some grime encrusted salvage. We'll just greet that too, I guess. All right, so it looks like we didn't get the waistband. The rogue got it. What did we roll? We rolled a 34. And then the leg rolled an 82. Now, I don't think there would be any plate gear in here, right? Because um, I don't think we'd have plate unlocked. Maybe there is. We got some quests to do in here. Data rescue. We need to get prismatic punch card. Essential of artificials. Bunch of quests. Probably complete those while we do this raid a bunch of times. Probably take a day. Stay out of that green stuff. I gotta watch out here. Tell me what you got, Siri. Oh, this is where all the... Oh, there is plate gear. Look at this stuff. So this is like the set pieces. Nice. Pretty nice stuff. The hazard boots, the hazard leg pads. That's what we want to get. Set bonuses in defense plus seven, 16 attack power. Pretty nice loot there. Where the heck do these guys go? They go this way? Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting lost in here. I gotta keep up with these guys. Looks awesome, though. Does remind me of Nomergon. They didn't change it like too much, but I don't remember these lasers here. But I do remember these mobs down here. Gonna keep everybody buffed up. some mechanical guts. We gotta get 24 mechanical guts for the quest. So that'll probably take us a few runs. And there's the, the boss there. Vicious Fallout. Let's see how this goes. Assume he's gonna tank him on the wall. I honestly don't really like all no, the mechanics. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Hopefully it's a tank and spank. I assume it's the bosses. So we got a bunch of ads here. I assume we gotta kill them. This boss is getting completely demolished. Gotta get out of this ooze though. It's 
stay out of stuff on the ground. That's the main thing we gotta do. There we go, he's down. Let's see what dropped. The Hydro Stab dropped. 23 frost resistance and allows underwater breathing. Lev's oil. Stained bindings. Cloth bindings. Telling us to line along the side. They have 5 stamina, 4 intellect. Increases damage and healing by up to 9. And it also has uh, stores 3 mana for 5 seconds. Pretty good for healers. Cloth wrists. Drape of Dismantling, really nice back piece, much better than ours. 32 armor, 8 strength, 6 agility, 7 stamina, we'll be needing that. And we got it. I don't know which way he wants us to run, is it this way? Oh, we're gonna do this, oh, okay. I have learned the ways. You're running the side. Please don't fall off. All right, so let's get this back piece on, guys. Big upgrade. Can't do that well in combat, so it looks like we're in combat. Somebody is getting shot by one of the leprous defenders. Got intruder alerts. This isn't good. Initializing subwarp transport. I guess we just units follow everybody and just hopefully, like, hopefully we can handle all this. Yeah, we are in combat, so I can't equip this new bag piece. This guy's pet something there. I think we can jump down. There we go. I could give them, you know, Sal. Like, oh, this, I'm just gonna give the caster Sal. It's better than giving them, giving them might. I think I'm being a little too literal with that guy's instructions. He's giving everybody wisdom. Makes it pretty easy for him. Security Delta Data Access Card. Requires engineering. Don't have that. The boot can probably have Sal. We got the card, nice. Maybe we'll get engineered. Yeah, I have to make concentration. For these poles, it would be so amazing. I'm probably going to try to get that after this. We'll look into it. I'll change my spec. For these bulls, like Consecration would probably be our highest damage ability. There's also a couple of runes we need to get as well. I we might look into that too. We also want to get into Zulfarak as much as we can. It's not all crazy there for us. We have one more quest to do there too. There we go. We're getting some guts here. It looks like I could have gotten in, into this a little earlier. Level 40. Just wasn't sure how I would do. 
I guess the groups I was in were just full or they just didn't need any more paladins. And there he is, Crowd Pummeler 960. Let's see how this guy is. Everyone's cheering him on. This looks kind of cool. Much different. Can you judge wisdom? And I'll do Crusader. I'm doing uh, Seal of Martyrdom. Oh, I got knocked off. I gotta watch the knocks, man. I can get knocked off here. And he's uh, gonna pull it out a bit. As you can see. Oh man, we got knocked off. Damn it. Damn it. Feel I if I rest here. I got wrecked. So you gotta get out of his way when he does that knock. We just lost our buffs there, that sucks. Good thing they're going to get him down. And there we go, my first wipe. Next time we're in here, guys, we're going to make sure we don't get hit by that, I hope. Experimental aim stabilizers. These are nice wrists. These are better than ours, I assume. Yeah, so I can roll on them if nobody needs them. I kind of feel bad taking him because I died. <laughs> but we got him. Happens. It's kind of him to do that. And the ultrasonic blade. 30.4 damage. Not bad. I'm not going to leave that one on the table. They're not tanking, so. These guys are already moving. I gotta get some water. And let's get Sanctity Aura, Aura back up. Alright, so there we go. That's three bosses down. <laughs> I, I got rocked there. Now, supposedly for that mechanic, you should look at his his feet, because that'll show you where he's 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 aiming. I don't think it matters. Yeah, you know, we probably have enough damage with all the 50s we have. Still need to get this back piece of this. summoning the druid.
Yeah, I have a lot to work on as a reptile. It's going to be fun to see how we progress as we get to 50. This will probably be my main character, I think, for Season of Discovery. I don't know if I'll level any more. Maybe one more class. I've leveled uh, the Mage Warlock, Priest, and now, now Paladin. Here's the elevator. Gotta really watch out for this spot in hardcore. A lot of people die going on this elevator and missing it. Warning, warning, intruder alert, intruder alert. Righteousness is most likely a rune we need to get. I assume there's like a, a magnetic charge where you have LOS. Okay, she so just runs away like that. So if I get that, I just run out of the group. Okay. Should be okay, yeah. So if I get that, I gotta run back. Maybe we can dodge that explosion by being behind the pole. So you get that like AOE electrocution ability. You just gotta run out of groups. Not too bad. I wonder if I could bubble it and then it just like gets off of my character, but maybe. Probably not. I would like to try it. Mechano Strider Gear Shifter dropped. Nice wand. 42.3 damage per second. Increases damage and healing done. By magical spells by up to nine. Mechanist gloves. Six agility, seven stam. So pretty good. So our other ones are, are, are male. Does anybody want those? I would take them, but power depleted chest. I don't know if that's for uh, for us. Radiated Trousers, 5 Agility, 10 Stam. Ten Intellect, 13 Spirit, 10 Nature Resist, increases magic, damage and healing done by up to 16. Source 4 mana for 5 seconds. So I don't know if we need the power to please this. We'll just greet the, the 
machinist gloves. 1% hits pretty good. But we have more attack power on the other gloves by a little bit. This has Agi on it. And the power depleted chest. Let me look that up quick. Quick. Depleted chest. Wonder what that's for. I wouldn't want to roll on it. I don't need it. It's currency for pretty much all the gear. So yeah, we can roll meat on it. We got it. Brigade boots of agility. 13 agility, 160 base, 6 armor boots. Can actually use those. And these gloves. Two less attack power, but the hit's good. Anybody else need those? I'll just give them to somebody else if anybody else needs them. We got the chest, so. Machinist gloves. Greed, 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 greed. A bunch of people greeted it past time. Hey, everybody's just greeting it. I don't know. Should we greet meat on it? Oh, nice. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's see if anybody needed on it. Yeah, somebody else did. The rogue did. I had a feeling the rogue would. Just couldn't find the. I'll give it to him over me, you know, he wears leather. Just couldn't see if he needed on it or not. Yeah, we got some, uh, Acceptance, which is kind of cool. Can I get the Hazard for s or... Or the electromantic chain mail. Seems like that does more damage. It's mail. Probably gonna take the hazard chest plate. Alright, let's focus, guys. Enough about gear. Got a couple more bosses to go. Alright, so there's another boss here. Mechanical Menagerie, or is this the final boss? Is this Thermoplug? Not too sure. This is Mechanical Menagerie. For this boss, we need to slay all of these mobs here at the same time, or they heal up or something like that. We can run into these explosive eggs that this chicken drops with our bubble. Let's get them up just out of the way, I think. I think that's something a paladin would do. Just looking up these get to the abilities of these mobs here. The squirrel, he interrupts people and deals damage to them. Throws down an AoE effect, which if stood on by any of the four bosses, provides them a large damage reduction. Okay. 
Okay, so I gotta keep them out of that AOE during the tank. Need my. Oh, yeah, my okay. We got everybody buffed up. Alright, here we go. See how this goes. I know a little bit about it. Let the tank do his thing. Looks like these guys are killing the sheep. Nope. I'm getting stunned by this guy. I don't think I should be healing him. That's not a, a melee thing to do. Should focus on this thing. Should focus on the chicken. There's the explosive egg. Looks like you killed the explosive egg. Okay. So yeah, that, that the one I was attacking earlier, the sheep, looks like that's ranged only. Try to get this other mob down. There's an explosive egg there. Let's get that down. There we go. It looks like explosive eggs are cryo. And they go down. And the tank kind of just kites it in a circle. Oh man, taking some serious fire damage. Let's get out of that. I want to get them all low. I want to kill them all at the same time, I think. Need the range to probably catch up on the... Get this egg down. I need the range to catch up on the sheep. Get him down. There we go, we leveled up. Cool fight. Learned a little bit about it there. We got all the guts that we needed. What the heck is this? Just want to pick up everyone to make sure we got it. Usurpers! is mine! And there's Thermoplug. And those trousers dropped again, those irradiated trousers, so we'll greet those. Bunch of grime salvage. Male gloves improves your chance to hit with any spells and attacks by 1%. Pretty nice gloves. That might be better than what we got. I'd rather have that or the attack bar. Is everyone just dying? I can bubble through that. Nope. <laughs> I would take these male gloves if anybody needs them. Just two-handed axe right there. Class of target. 39.6 damage per second. It's better than ours. Power depleted legs. Probably need those too. We got those. Nice. Fingers of arcane accuracy. Male. Yeah, why not? So we're all, we all died there. We got the, the power depleted legs, so that's good. We're gonna get our two set, guys. Should look into that before we buy it. And I think everybody needed on everything else, I assume. Oh, whatever. Right, so let's get back in here. Click any close button that's open, boomies, kill bombs. Okay. I think it's this way, right? Oh, we gotta catch up. We're on the last boss. Thermoplug.
Yeah, we already got a two set going. I don't know if we got the, the weapon. The weapon would have been nice, but it's pretty comparable to our uh, bone biter. Problem is now I'm bloody lost. They jump down? I can one, two, three them there. Someone would be nice. <laughs> I know you can jump down on there. don't want to die. Take the portal and save from the boss. And save from. So I think that's down here. Okay, we got... Yeah, that's probably not the safe. Where the heck is the safe room? Pretty sure that's where the vendors are. Clean zone. So supposedly there's a portal here. This is where you buy the stuff to give him the gearhead. It's a salvage automatic. Oh, there's the portal. Nice. This guy's helping me out. Alright, here we are. We made it. Let's get everybody buffed up. on top of me. There we go, we bursted him down. Any pets that need buffs? Looks like we got this this loot. <laughs> nice! Got a new two-handed axe, guys. If I can put that on. I can, nice. Less strength on it, though. I don't know if it's actually better. I think Bone Biter's actually better. more strength on it and it has higher top end damage. So bigger crits, 159, such slower damage attacks. Yeah, Bone Biter's awesome. Plug is frozen right now. As long as we don't stand in anything, we should be okay. My machines are the future! They'll destroy you all! And now he's, uh, he's plagued. I have a feeling one of these versions is going to be rough for Melee. I guess we'll find out once we start taking damage. Do that bubble already. There's a bomb. Looks like the Brinkins are dealing with those. Yeah. 
guys. Another bomb there. I could hodge them maybe. I probably should stay away from them. Another one. Stay out of the ice, I assume. They're taking a little bit of damage. Here we go, this is the ending, I think. There we go. Power depleted legs, I think we already have those. So agreed. Thermoplugs engineering notes begins a quest. Think we would want to do that? The nice gun, Thermoplugs Custom Blaster. Awesome gun for Hunter. 26.6 damage per second and plus 26 ranged attack power. So I guess we'll, Thermoplugs Engineering notes. I guess we'll need that, it begins a quest. And Wordall's Hardened Core. Seven stamina, five arcane resist, five nature resist. Increases your chance to dodge and attack by 1%. Increases armor by 1,000. But movement speed is reduced by 60%. Effect cannot be removed and lasts for 10 seconds. Pretty cool uh, trinket for, for tanks. Let's greet that, though. Looks like Aslan needed it. Nice. Happy to see he got some gear. And I think that was it, guys. Uh, we didn't get the thermoplug engineering notes, but we did get a lot of loot. Get two set pieces. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to head over to the clean room, and we will see what we can get. Here we are in the clean room. So let's uh, use our tier pieces here. And I learned something. Supposedly the leather tier is actually better than the plate tier for ret paladins because you do more damage with it the hazard uh, plate version is probably better if we were say tanking so we're gonna take the we're gonna take take this version because i think we're playing red for at the moment so we'll take the insulated chest guard and the insulated leg guards and that'll give us a two set, which improves your chance to get a critical strike when all, all spells and attacks by 1%. And there we go. Goodbye now. So let's put these on. And there we go. Got some pretty good loot today, I guess. Not bad at all. We could use some more ruins. We died on the thermoplug boss, I believe. That was the only boss we died on. We got knocked off by, no, Crowd Pummeler. Crowd Pummeler killed us. And we got some nice loot. We, we got Drape of Dismantling, 32 armor, eight strength, six agility, seven stamina. Insulated chest guard, 134 armor, 17 strength, 13 agility, 10 stamina. The insulated leg guards, 117 armor, 13 strength, eight agility, 14 stamina and also improves your chance to hit with all spells and attacks by 1%. And we also have the two set, which improves your chance to get a critical strike with all spells and attacks by 1%. So that was pretty good. Seems like Bonebiter's probably still the better weapon, I think, at the moment. And that was all the upgrades. We also got Brigade Boots of Agility. This was just a BOE that dropped 166 armor and 13 agility. 
But yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. Next episode, we'll probably start it out by changing up the spec. Or maybe we'll just do Zulfarak. And then while I'm doing Zulfarak, I'll, I'll tell you guys about the spec chains. Because I, th I think we really do need to get Consecration. We also need a few more ruins as well. We could use three more ruins. So maybe we'll do a little bit of ruin hunting too. But that is going to be the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.